Hi Virgos, welcome to my channel Answers by Divine. This is gonna be for your general reading for the month of September. So let's see what's on the cards for you Virgos. So as you can see, I'm shuffling away the past energies that I've just done for uh, Libra. So right now it is for you, the sign of Virgos, general reading. See what's good on the cards. By far, I haven't seen any lousy reading, okay, uh, in terms of whatever that's coming out in the cards. Yeah. So this is going to be for Virgos. Let's see whatever is to be reversed will be reversed. Whatever is to be upright will be upright. Can we have an accurate reading for the sign of Virgos, September 2018, please? So I'm shuffling, shuffling, just spreading out the cards randomly. See what do we get for your reading for the sign of Virgos, September 2018. Okay, for Virgo, September 2018 general reading. Alright, are we done? Yeah, pretty much. Yep. Okay, we're done. We're done. We're done. We're done. For Virgo, September 2018 general reading, what do we have on the cards for Virgos? Alright, let's see. What's on the cards for Virgos for the month of September 2018? For the month of September 2018 for Virgos. Let's see. Mm. For the sign of Virgos, general reading for the month of September 2018. Shuffle. One last shuffle. For the sign of Virgos, general reading. <sighs> Sorry, I just don't feel I just don't feel good. I just don't feel right. Because the way I look at the first card coming out, this is going to be a negative reading. Negative reading. Virgos, I know I haven't been giving you a good reading for a while. So, let me try to give you one of the better readings for you this month, September 2018, for Virgos, September 2018. I mean, I, you don't need to hear me being more negative. Like, you already know. You already know the bad you just want to hear some good news right like every one of us does every one of us just want to know just want to hear what's good what's good in the cards what's coming so can we have a positive reading and got to be accurate especially for the sign of our goal, September 2018 okay now I feel good September 2018 for the month of Virgos general reading first card what do we start off we I told you this is going to be one of the better reading. So we're going to start off the month of September for you Virgos with the King of Pentacles. Alright, the King of Pentacles over here in an upright position. So money, 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 money. What more can I say about King of Pentacles? Okay, if it's not money, it is actually the best offer that you have gotten. This might be probably one of the best thing in your life right now thus far. You will know, like you will feel it. Even if you don't, you will you will say like not literally the best thing ever, but probably one of the better things in your life right now. This month is gonna turn out the way you wanted it to be, the way you're expecting it to be, the way you wish for it to be. So I see some good things coming your way, King of Pentacles. And this is actually by someone from someone. By someone from someone, this is slightly different than to the Ace of Wands, like uh, good news, good things coming. But this is like, it is, it is a lot more special if it's given, given to you, like um, knowingly and consciously given to you by someone. It is, it feels a lot more special. It is not like oh, by chance you chance upon it, then that's your own luck. But you know how when we get, uh. When we feel more, um, uh, like it feels a lot more special, unique when it's given specifically towards you. So this is what you're getting. Someone is giving you something 
over here. I would say someone, someone over here. And probably a lot more, a lot more than what you're expecting it to be. A lot more, uh, even more or even out of what you are expecting for yourself, for your life. I, I just feel like smiling, but I'm 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 like um, I haven't know I haven't got to know what's 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 this what's this whole storyline about. But I'm definitely seeing good cards over here. I've got the Eight of Swords in reverse. Eight of Swords in reverse is a lot about letting go, move uh uh you know letting free freedom, and you know the the uh the flexibility to move to go ahead with whatever that you want to do. And instead of the restriction that you have been restricted to for the longest time. So I'm seeing all the good cards over here. I'm seeing temperance in reverse. Temperance in reverse, I feel it I feel it like more like a good thing for you over here. Temperance in reverse. This and that's the card that I'm saying for you, Virgos. It is more than what you're expecting. Uh more than what you're wanting, more than what you have wished for for yourself. A lot more. So it is out of balance, but why not? In a good way, right? Oh. Virgos, I hope you like this reading. I hope you like this reading because this is really one of the better readings, like one of the best reading that I've given you by now. By now. I know, I know, I haven't been giving you the best reading. <laughs> I've got the Five of Cups in reverse. Look at this, how negative this card can be. Five of Cups, focusing at one point, you know, drowning in it. Just feeling emotional about it, upset about certain things, but this is five of cups in reverse, in reverse, you are out of it. I think you could pop champagne anytime. You could pop champagne. Take a photograph and email it to me as you're popping your champagne. <laughs> I see you getting a surprise this month. This is a surprise card. This is a surprise card. I've got a surprise card over here. I see you having some kind of surprise, but Mm, pleasantly surprised could be a pleasant surprise for you I'm seeing as you get yourself out of uh, whatever that you've been feeling in the moment for a while like whatever if you as you see as you find yourself pulling yourself out from the rut pulling yourself out from wherever whatever that you have you found yourself to be stuck to whoever that you get yourself stuck to this month, as you try, the key word here is you're trying. I see you trying, Virgos. Now I'm starting to use some intuition over here. I see you trying, trying to really pull out. You really wanted to pull out. Even if you don't, if you are not successful in doing it, at least you know you're starting to set your foot to try, to try to pull yourself up, pull yourself out, and get yourself up again rebuilding on yourself you might get some pleasant surprise really pleasant surprise not not something which you have that you know it is within your uh within your projection within your ex uh, like within what you have foresee it to be coming i see something that you haven't foresee coming you wouldn't know and i wouldn't know <laughs> but it is definitely a pleasant surprise okay and this present surprise is going to help you to move on if you've been wanting to move on or if you've been you know staying put for a while at the same place you know looking through videos looking through you know what's coming up for virgos my love life my professional life my not my car but okay my 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 money that kind of thing i see you finally seeing hopes this time around virgos it feels hopeful it feels hopeful it feels bright like you will in you you see some sparkle in your own world in your mind there are there are you know some sparkles coming and turning into a flame and then turning into a like it's burning like burn baby burn okay I told you burn baby burn and then we've got the Sun to help you to burn to burn out the past and to leave a fresh new brand new you Virgos fresh and brand new you with the sun progression pleasant surprise something which you know some offer that's so unique and special coming from someone 
whom you know you probably least expect it to be as you release yourself you go towards freedom you free yourself and you are out of wherever you find yourself being stuck in for the last summer and then pleasant surprise coming progression burning burning hot like burning hot moving on moving on you have moved on and you will be moving on you will find truth and you will find clarity, Virgos. This month, you should you should start to feel, you know, things don't happen in a split second. It will unfold gradually. So, you will feel, feel in a moment, Virgos. I'm saying feel. Right now, as I'm saying, feel. What is changing in my life? Who's coming and who's gradually leaving? What have I been doing for myself? Have I been acting the best? Have I been at my best? To manifest, to manifest for the best thing, you will feel that actually the answer here is yes. You have been doing it the right way. You have been on the right path, on the right track. Virgos, okay? I told you, really good reading for you. And then the strength card. Strength card. Moving on, you are believing it once again. Believe, you're believing it. You, I see you really focus. Uh, hopeful, <laughs> um, trusting, hopeful, trusting, hopeful, and you're believing it, believing that good things are coming. I see you feeling good. Maybe this is your month. I forgot about it. This is your month. This is your birth month, your birthday month. Happy birthday to you, Virgos. Really, like the sun, the sun is shining on you. Oh, and that's the reason why we have got the sun. The sun is literally shining and giving you all of its power. Like, everyone stand aside, please. Stand aside, please. This is my time. My time, Virgos. My time. I hope, I hope, I hope this is gonna be good because my Venus is in Virgo. <laughs> so. Ooh. Hmm. Let me. I'm seeing over here, Virgos, the toxic person here that 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 fly that mosquito around you. The that that mosquito that has been buzzing buzzing around you, which you haven't been able to catch them. You haven't been able to slap them. Them is still gonna be around. Just be careful. This is the only one thing that I, I need you to be more um, more conscious about. Conscious about this person. Like have have some conscious about this person. You can live your life, you can enjoy like happy birthday to you, okay? But just keep at your back of your mind that there is this energy over here. Someone is still like a mosquito around you, like a gecko, lizard. You know, like, you know the sound of the lizard, like, I do not know how, how do you do it, but, yeah. They are like, irritating and annoying. It's not going to disturb you much. It's not going to disturb you much because of your strength this month. You know, the power, the strength, that the sun, you know, how, the flame, the fire that you have been, uh, that you have been fueled, you have been fueled by, by the divine. They're not gonna they're not able to come near to you, they're not able to touch you, they're not able to disturb you. That's for sure. Okay, but I see them just buzzing around and then you'll be like, forget it, like move on. Okay? Yeah. You have to be a little bit more selfish this month. Be more selfish this time around because Virgos, you are the sign who has been very, very giving, extremely giving, always giving. This is the time for you to just sit back and receive receive your gifts receive your wishes count your blessing okay count your blessings because whatever should end will end you know why whatever should go should will go whatever whoever should die they will just die really like i don't mean literally but just die off from your life whoever should just die off from your life they will die just die off from your life move away, die off, rot, and, you know, bury under the earth, under the soil, let it be fertilizer to make you a better you, to make it a better version of you. 
Oh, I want that. I want that. I want that, Virgos. I wanted that. There is this Prince of Cups coming. Prince of Cups. Some, some, some pure, hot, sizzling love that's boiling. Even if it's not love, interest. People are so interested, and people are looking at you, Virgos. People, are, all eyes are on you, Virgos. All eyes are on you. Oh, can I have that, please? Oh, no, 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 no. I hate this. I hate this. I'm giving you all the good cards over here. What is this, Virgos? T H E W H E L E E L. Sorry. I'm fumbling, I'm fumbling, like really fumbling for you, Virgos. Fumbling for you. So, your, your life, I'm about to say your wife, your life, Virgos, is going to take a change. It's going to change for the better because this is an upright. It's going clockwise. It's going to change. It's not going anti-clockwise. It's going clockwise. Brand new you, fresh new you, new life, new changes, positive change. Everything is on the table for you. Really? Okay. Virgos, I want to come back because I'm on the fifth row over here. This is the last row over here. I just want to come back to this. This row apparently is showing me that the mosquito, the gecko that's that's you know that's around you, that's annoying you, but you know, don't don't have to be too worried about that. But this person is definitely somewhere at the corner of your eyes. Like you know you see them, you know they're around, you smell them. Annoying, right? This is the person who refused to put out the good to you, Virgos. This is a person who refused to put out the good for you to you, and you know it's um probably the probably the person who has been pulling you back, holding you back for a while throughout the last summer, okay. But if not, then just be for any time frame. But this is a person whom the reason why you're looking out for a good reading for yourself. There's this person over here. I want to let me flip all the cards for you. I just want to see the last card. Virgos, I see someone one thing really see I see someone manifesting for you. I'm not sure whether if you still want this person. Like if you're still interested in this person, in this opportunity. And I'm very sure this person is full of air. It's airy, it's flighty. I'm not sure about whether if they have got air in their chart, but I'm seeing all the swords over here. All the swords. Queen of Swords reverse, two of swords reverse, four of swords upright. All the swords are here. This person is flighty, it's airy. They used to ghost on you, they used to treat you badly, you treat you, not appreciate you, Virgos. This person. Yeah, this person hasn't been serving you for a long while, like even in, in your life. This person is just not deserving of you, is not serving um, purposeful in your life, alright? But this person, what I'm seeing over here, this person is thinking a lot about you. Some of them can be as crazy as mani manifesting for you, telepathic, telepathic ying like telepathy with you, sending telepathic message, you will feel, you will sense a lot of them around you, surrounding you, the vibe of them, like the vibrations coming to your mind, the waves coming to your mind. There is this person over here a lot on your mind. Love or not, I'm not sure. Love or not, I'm not sure. Could be anyone, anyone over here. But I'm seeing Virgos. You are going to move on, you are ready to move on, you are starting to open up your doors again. Going for options, going, you know, letting, letting, letting options come again. Enjoying, enjoying the world full of options. You know, as you, as you get selfish for yourself, Virgos, as you get selfish for yourself, you're going to get like the best thing ever for yourself. Because you've been giving away the best thing you could ever have. You've been giving it away. This is a time, this is a month where I want you to be selfish, Virgos. I want you to be selfish. For once. Can, could you just be selfish for once? 
I need you to be selfish for once because when you get selfish over here, let me show you, let me show you. As you get selfish, this is the Six of Pentacles giving card but in reverse. I want you to be selfish. I need you, I need you to be selfish and you get this Ten of Cups. You see that, Virgos? You see that? I want you to be selfish. I need you to be selfish. I need you to think for yourself for once. Think for yourself. You need to get out. Virgos, I'm saying you need to get out. Get out. Whatever it means, get out to you. Okay, get out. Get out of your own world. Get out of your hermit mode. Get out of your room. Get out of your house. Get out of the office. You need to get out. Really get out. Okay, you need to really get out. Put yourself out there. You get the sun. You get out. Have fun. You get the sun. Okay, whoever, whatever should die in your life will die in your life. Like, I mean, I don't mean literally dying, but just die off, lay low, stay away from your life, okay? And then, don't give, stop giving. Hold it back, have some reserves. See and think carefully who you're giving yourself to. Who you're giving your focus, your attention. Like Virgos, um, you don't really have much to give materially. Even if you could, I don't see you doing so. Even if you do, I don't see you doing much, okay? So, majority, mainly Virgos, you don't have a lot to give. All you have to give is really your attention, your focus, your communication. Ruled by Mercury, right? Your co your co your ruler, alright? So, but this can be the most damaging, like the most precious thing ever. It, if it has been damaged, this is going to... Is going to tear up your soul once again. So be very careful who you're giving yourself to. There are a lot of swords over here. And then I start to see the core, the core cent center row over here. What I'm seeing over here is really eight of swords in reverse, which which is freedom, releasing yourself. Eight of cups upright, going, moving away, moving forward. Prince of cups, you know. Prince of cups is really about receiving love, receiving love, taking love. Enjoying love, enjoying your options, Seven of Cups, okay? Hmm. The next row over here, the fourth row, okay? The fourth row over here. Five of Cups reverse, getting out, not drowning, not drowning into in, in, in your own life again or anymore. And then followed by the Strength card in Upright, Strength card, which is you believing trusting having faith once again that the wheel is going to turn and turn towards you turn towards what you what you've been wanting the best for yourself and then you get the harrowment you get the commitment you get your wishes come true okay and that lizard over here really that lizard i will just call this person the lizard over here continues to be them continue to have sleepless night it has nothing to do with you really like nothing to do with you they can continue to be upset whatever like whatever okay virgos wait the bottom of the deck pretty good pretty good the bottom of the deck we have seven of pentacles this is about thinking thinking and investing wanting to invest but you know virgos before you could even think about investing what do you need you need to be able to have the capacity to invest and this card is saying that you have the capacity you are going to reap you are reaping your fruits you're reaping your results it's like you know all, all this month all this time all that you have put put into all that your attention all that focus all that blood all the sweat that you're sweating that you're bleeding from like it needs to it needs to return you something good like a probably a lesson doesn't matter so you are ripping, ripping all from the past, all the good things from the past. And this time round, you're looking and thinking about new investment, new investment over here. Investing in something new, something which you have never done before, something which is um, uh, positively um, pleasant, positive and pleasant, something that's, um, that's, I do not know, like just amazing. This is gonna be amazing change that you're taking a new amazing path. 
for yourself to really gear up in your life gear up okay Virgos what a reading like you you know what I don't get I don't get let me see what do you have over here you have one two three four five six one Two, three, four, five, six. You have six cards. Six major arcana cards. Six. What is six in numerology? Like okay, in tarot cards, six. Six is a happiness. It's a victory. It's a victorious card. Number six. Six in numerology is about family. It's about love, kinship, people who loves you, people whom you love. Okay, this is six. I mean, this thing just came to my mind. It's pretty random, but I just want to tell you this six comes to my mind, and this number six, I will just give it to you as your birthday present. Enjoy your time with your family, enjoy your time with your loved ones, enjoy your time at home. Okay, home is the most sacred place, it's the, it's the most productive place, it's the most comfortable place ever. Home, okay. Look at your home, people who love you, people who treasure you, people who appreciate you, people who see the value in you, Virgos. Fantastic reading, fantastic reading. If you could feel, if you could see the message in this in this whole reading over here, it goes in really deep, like it goes in really deep. It is not those superficial and shallow kind of reading like, oh money, money is on the horizon and uh, this is deep, this is deep. like blood kind blood blood love like own blood own blood your own blood kind of love love from your family true love sincere genuine love from people around you who truly loves you Virgos happy birthday once again this is my gift for you I hope you like the messages over here till then your mid month love reading okay I'll see ya bye bye